I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. Uh, we had a video recently put out about the Stanley number 45 and the Stanley number 55 comparing them. What can the Stanley number 55 do that the Stanley number 45 can't do? And really kind of getting a, a bit of a chance to look at them. And that was a lot of fun and a lot of people really liked that. But one of the questions I had just blew up uh, was, okay, can you actually show a video about what does the Stanley number 45 do? Um, how does it actually do that? Can you run it through a few boards and show us what the, the grooves and beads and uh, different things that this combination plane can do? So I wanted to put a video out about that, and that's what this is about. Come along with me, and we're actually going to take a look at several of the different grooves and cuts that it can make, and how to modify it to make some of those other things. So let's start out with the Stanley number 45 with probably what is going to be the most common thing to do with it, and that is to make a groove. Um, and so on this I have both of these skates um, set side by side, tied up against each other with a, uh, a quarter inch cutter um, in, the, uh, in the bed, and then I have the fence set parallel to the, uh, the two skates. On some of the 45s it can be difficult to make sure that, this, that the fence is parallel. Um, so you might have to measure from one side and measure at the other to make sure that it's set up. So let's give it a test drive and see what she does. And there we go. Have a nice little groove that is all uh, set. Stanley number 45. So after making a groove, the next step is to make a rabbit, or a rebate if you're in England or Europe. And what you can do with that is actually move the fence from the bottom holes to the top holes. And that allows the fence to then slide over the iron. So you can actually make it slide right up to the iron and uh, tighten it down. Now you can make a rabbit with any iron you want. I'm just keeping the uh, quarter inch iron in there so that we can see what it does. So let's try that out. Cuts just like butter. So there you have what most plow planes would be able to do, either creating a groove or a rabbit, uh, by merely moving the fence around. Where is the fence in relationship to the iron? Uh, and that gives you a, a basic understanding. But let's do something that most plow planes couldn't do, and that is orienting these knickers to then allow us to cut across the grain. So what happens if we want to make a groove across the grain as opposed to with it? So here I have it set up to put a groove in a certain distance away from the fence. And I have rotated two of these little knickers. Uh, you can see right here there is uh, several slots where they can be rotated. And they have a little uh, knife that sticks down right on the very edge of the skate so that it will cut the fibers before the knife cuts into it. And there's one of those on both sides. The other one's a little harder to see, but you should be able to see it right in here. So let's give it a try. So the first thing we'll do is actually drag it backwards across to make sure we score the wood with those knickers. And you can see I've made two little lines. Well, you might be able to, I don't know. And then, oh. groove running across the grain. So every time you go forward the knickers will cut the grain so that then the knife can basically pare it out and uh, give you a nice clean, clean cut across the grain. So to create a rabbit across the grain uh, you have to do the exact same thing as with the groove. You just, you just uh, flip out the knicker so that it's ready but then you move the fence over so that it is hanging over the blade at the distance you want so that the blade is now sticking out from the fence however uh, wide you want the rabbit to be. So let's give this a try. As before, we start by pulling it back across the grain. That puts in that nicking line all the way across so that the next stroke we carve it out. The 
only thing is you want to be very careful as you exit the other side. Uh, make sure that you're not putting too much down pressure on it so you're not nicking out the end. But then you can get that nice clean rabbit all the way across there. So next up we're going to try a little bit of beading. Now the Stanley number 45 comes with a bunch of different uh, beading cutters and uh, you can actually buy a lot more than what it does naturally come with. But basically I just set the fence right up to the side of it or if you want to put the bead in uh, to the board a little bit you can move the fence further away. So just like a groove but uh, with a beading cutter. So let's give it a try. And then you're left with this really nice bead all the way down the board. It's kind of pretty. Next up we want to make a uh, tongue for tongue and groove boards or a box joining or things like that. And you can see I have a uh, tonguing cutter in there. It's a little harder to see in this one, but uh, has a space in between. This particular one actually has a half inch blade, a quarter inch gap, and a half inch blade. So if you're doing wider boards, uh, you can cut them out a little easier. Also, you notice that the skates are um, along the, the or are in the middle of the blade as opposed to out on the outside edges. This um, blade is so wide that if the skates were all the way out there, the middle might actually bow in a little bit. So these skates are there more to support the iron than to guide it. So let's give it a try. there is your tongue. Now you can stick that into a groove that you made earlier and you're ready to go. So the last one I have for the 45 is this sash molding uh, cutter and I wanted to show you a little more specifically on this one. Basically what it does is it creates a tongue in the middle and a rabbit on this side, a rebate depending upon which side of the pond you're on, and a molding on this side. So it cuts both a molding and a rebate at the exact same time and then it has this little foot in the middle and this foot is basically your depth stop. Um, this same foot was also on the uh, um, on the tonguing plane so it would uh, create a, uh, uh, a tongue at a specific depth. So let's put this in and see how it does. There's its final profile, and basically what you'd be able to then do is this molding would be the decorative face on the outside of the window, and then you would put in your glass, which would sit on this shelf up against the, uh, the, uh, the data wall, and then you would glaze in from this side to hold the glass in place. So a little bit of old-fashioned uh, window making, and you can do it with the Stanley number 45. There's a fairly quick overview on some of the fun things that a Stanley number 45 can do. Uh, this was a fun video for me to do. I, I just, this is probably one of the most enjoyable tools that I have in the shop. And anytime that I can pick it up and use it, I really look forward to it. This is just, it's so much more fun than a router or router table and safer and quieter and enjoyable. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I love having it. Um, I, I really hope you like this. I, I, I'm sorry for how short this is because I could go on and on and on about this and I could probably do a three or four hour long video on some of the details on this and little in, ins and outs of it. But they're types of things you learn once you actually get one in hand and you can kind of play with it. 
With that being said, I'm probably going to be doing a video here soon on the Stanley number 55 and actually showing some of the cuts that it can do uh, that the 45 can't. Um, if I've already put that video out, you might see a link around here for it. But until then, sorry you got to wait another week. So I hope you like this. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, what else would you like to know about it? Is there anything particular I missed? I'd love to, to hear about that. If uh, you did like this, please hit the like button or think about subscribing. Feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like. And until next time, have a wonderful day.